Well, the speed of the speed of healthcare is really a, a adapting to change in, in in the clinical practice. So I'll give you an example. Um, there was a core measure that uh, CMS used uh, a decade ago, 15 years ago, um, for treatment of heart uh, heart attacks and the, giving a beta blocker in the hospital. From when the first study by the National Heart, Lung, and Blood Institute came out in 1982 or so, and that study was cut short because they recognized. Uh, giving a beta blocker after a heart attack reduced mortality dramatically. It took 25 years for that to be woven and, 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 and completely uh, um, embedded into clinical practice. One dramatic life-saving action took 25 years to change. We can't afford to do that. So we have to, one, uh, electronify data, if you will. We have to convert it to electronic and then use the power of AI to drive change more, more rapidly, much more rapidly. What's required of healthcare then, and physicians in particular, is to begin to trust those changes that I didn't learn in medical school or that I don't see published in literature, but actually that this patient I'm being recommended to do this action for that I didn't do on the last patient. That creates a great discomfort. And, uh, and, and physicians are gonna have to get more comfortable with the dynamicness of of recommendations for AI to really uh, bring the true value that it will.